Welcome to another episode of Access, the show that gives you the best of PS3 in a tidy 10-minute bundle. This week we'll be blasting through the latest news in our PlayStation briefing, sucking up the multiplayer advice with Battlefield 3 producer Patrick Barr, and putting Nolan North's real-life Nathan Drake skills to the test. But first, ready your magic staff and very best beard for our beyond epic game of the week. It's The Elder Scrolls V Skyrim. Hear that steady drumbeat? That's the sound of your boring earth life being ground into a fantastical paste before being spat out into the glorious world of The Elder Scrolls V Skyrim the place where you'll be spending the next 300 odd hours of your new now I'm a dragon nobbling badass life. As is the RPG norm, you can fully customise the race, gender and earlobe size of said dragon nobbling badass with the exotic Argonians, Orcs and Khajiit all making a return. We recommend the burly Nords though. Built like golden haired tanks, this hardy warrior race is ideal for strapping on the spiky armour, unsheathing that shimmering steel blade and picking some flowers! Epic as the story may be, the main enjoyment in Skyrim comes from standing about gawking at the lush varied scenery, nattering to folk and partaking in the gazillion side quests, or humanely culling the local wildlife. Combat is a mountain-sized leap above predecessor Oblivion's stilted efforts, with cinematic kill cams, dual-wielding blades and intuitive magic use all ensuring that Skyrim's brawls are fun, meaty and suitably blood-soaked. The big scaly aces up Skyrim's gilded sleeve, however, are the humongous dragons, capable of shredding fearsome giants with a single nibble or soldering your helmet into your face with a gust of white-hot flame breath. Good job you're the last dragon born then, or Dovahkiin in dragon language. After successfully introducing your axe to some leathery skull, you'll be able to suck up the dragon's soul and use its power in the form of a dragon shout. Devastating magic attacks that involve yelling very loudly in a funny language. Here's what they probably mean in English. But it's the little things in Skyrim that really sing. The way the wind whispers through the trees, the melodic sound of a gushing waterfall, the comforting squelch of a man's lung imploding as you drive three feet of naked steel through his diaphragm. Skyrim is out on the 11th of November and we recommend it like standing in a pool of dragon fire and shouting epically at a nearby mountain range. PlayStation briefing time now as we herd the week's news flock into a lovely high definition pen. Today is, of course, massive Uncharted 3 launch day, but some lucky fans recently got an exclusive pre-release hands-on with the single player at a special access event in London. Not only was it decked out just like the pub from the game's opening level, but we also bumped into Naughty Dog's Justin Richmond and Arnie Mayer and talked about why the game's going to be even better than Arnie's epic moustache. Well, that's what we're trying to do, too. You know, we want people to be so immersed and involved with what's happening on screen that you, know, you want to cheer when something awesome happens, uh, even if you're, you know, by yourself on your couch. Fans of turn-based uber cuteness rejoice. Achingly beautiful JRPG Nino Kuni has been confirmed for a European release next year. Reasons to be excited? Spirited Away creators Studio Ghibli are behind the game's stunning visuals. You can fly around on a big purple dragon and it's got a tiny egg fairy thing with a lantern on its nose. After months of hissed rumours and wild internet speculation, Rockstar has finally given the official It's Alive! to Grand Theft Auto V, and you can now watch the awesome reveal trailer at Rockstar's official website. That was your PlayStation Briefing. We'll have more news next week. Keep your hands inside the cart, please, as we take you on a tour of the latest goodies on the PlayStation Store. Headline news this week is the arrival of soaking wet survival adventure Hydrophobia Prophecy. Set on a futuristic floating city invaded by misanthropic terrorists, it's your job to use the gushing, flowing water to send them packing back to their Nietzsche cliff notes. We spoke to developer Dark Energy about what to expect from this reworked version of the game. The PlayStation 3 version now is, is, is the pinnacle of, of, of this franchise. It plays so much more smoothly, it looks great, and the move implementation is absolutely 
fantastic. We've got a move implementation where people actually prefer the move to a standard controller. Meanwhile, Halloween isn't over, as the lingering cries of trick-or-treaters trapped in our basement attest. So there's still time to pick up ghoulish Infamous 2 expansion, Festival of Blood. Hero Cole has been bitten by invading vampires and is forced to use their powers against them to save the city. That means doing scary faces like this, but more importantly being able to fly like this. The only small caveat being that he must use the civilians of New Marais as haemoglobin heavy refuelling stations. You are smeared for takeoff. In other big game news, heavy hitting shooter Battlefield 3 is now available to download in its city levelling entirety from the PlayStation Store. Which means even those with chronic phobias of small shiny discs are fresh out of excuses for not playing through the bombastic campaign and getting lost in the awesome multiplayer. Also featuring lots of bullets for altogether more robbing related reasons is Payday the Heist, the co-op bank job shooter featuring tactical vault breaking and mean clown faces. With frantic action for up to four players, it feels a little like a mix of Heat's famous action set piece and Kane and Lynch 2's fragile alliance mode, only with the added bonus of not having to look at either Kane or Lynch. Chances are by now you've mowed your way through Battlefield 3's stunning single player campaign and are presently throwing your dual shot through the telly as your death count soars through the roof in the multiplayer. Well, chin up soldier because we recently sat down for a chat with DICE executive producer Patrick Bach who blessed us with this sage advice. First of all, it's a Battlefield game so you need to uh, make good use of all the options that you have in the game when it comes to weapons and gadgets and, and stuff. And, and also the customization of weapons are really important for, for any multiplayer match. The second tip would be make use of all the vehicles. Vehicles is a very intricate part of the Battlefield experience, so if you know your vehicles, you will be able to perform better on the Battlefield. And then of course, destruction. Make sure that you blow your way through walls, take out enemies by you know, shooting them through a wall and make sure that uh, no one can hide from you by taking down the environments around you. Thanks Patrick, and if you want to see more of Battlefield 3 then check out Access Episode 5, available now on YouTube and Facebook.com slash PlayStation Access. Uncharted 3 is finally here, but rather than just playing as Nathan Drake, we thought we'd go one better, heading to PlayStation HQ to meet the man himself. Hey everybody, it's Nolan North, Nathan Drake from Uncharted, and you're watching Access. Very cool. To accompany the release of the game, Nolan's written a behind-the-scenes book called Drake's Journal, so we decided to put him to the test to see just how much like Nathan he really is. Okay, well, we've got the scarf, but no, never complete without the half tuck. Okay, now I'm ready. The first test is Drake's key skill, traversing. Traversing the wall of this small office. Now, normally in the game I would jump, but that's only when I'm being shot at. So we're gonna go a little slower. I'm gonna go right, reach with the left. Use your legs, climbing, good. Okay, avoiding bullets, nice. We're going lower, swing under the lamp, back up high. Freeing up the gun hand for a shot. On to test number two, shooting a pirate, or cameraman Dan, as he's also known. Okay, test number two, shooting. But it's too easy, he's too close. Point blank is no fun, so let's say, oh, I've missed, and he comes at me with this. Nate Drake, what's this? See? test is the hardest of all, striking those epic looking into the distance poses. It's always something interesting to the right. Left is always. Picture perfect. Thanks to Nolan North for being such a great sport. This is the most ridiculous thing I've ever done. And to Sony Computer Entertainment for letting him climb all over the walls. Drake's Journal is available now from Gamespheres.com.
Before we glide into the moonlight, here's a tender moment amid all the darkness of Batman Arkham City. Head here to Crime Alley where young Bruce Wayne's parents were killed and you can pay your last respects by interacting with this rose. Thankfully, no music by Seal can be heard, and after your trophy pings up, you can get back to bending metal bars in half and human joints the wrong way. Good night, Gotham.